Hi Tubies, it's me Sheila True Love and today I want to talk about why does the narcissist want you back? I assure you they're not coming back because they have seen the light and realized that they are wrong and the fault lies with them 110%. That's not it. They are coming back because the source that they are dealing with, the one that they have now, is nothing like the source they used to have, which is you. You were amazing source. And now, of course, they want to come back. They are almost likely, they're most likely better yet in a situation that they don't like. And they need something from you that you used to provide for them. And this new source or whoever the hell they're dealing with, it's not, they're not measuring up. Also, the fuel you used to provide for them, they can't seem to find it anywhere in anyone else. They miss the fuel that you gave them. When their new supply don't fit the criteria, the criteria that they have, and, and, and they see that it's not working out, of course they, they want to try to come back to you. Another reason is if they see or they hear that you're doing really well without them, guess what? They can't stand that. Like my narc, he heard that I became a published author. My book is selling not only on Amazon, but also on Barnes and Nobles. Honey, <laughs> you think he didn't try to make another appearance? That's so not happening. I totally blocked him. He'll pop up at my house right downstairs. I, I, I totally ignored him. You know how you could tip around the house and act like nobody's home? That's how I do. They want to see, they want you to need them in, in, in your life. In order for them, in order for you to be doing well, they want you to need them. And when they see that you don't need them, it's, it's, it's another narcissistic injury. Because deep down inside themselves, they know that your life will be better without them. And guess what? Again, they can't stomach that. Trust and believe. They hate you and they're jealous of you and they do not want you to do well at all, at least not without them. They want to get back into your life so that they could try to destroy or ruin you. When they see that their new supply is not better, they will try to hoover you back. And I know that I'm living proof, honey. I've lived it. I, I've lived it. I'm, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm hiding out. They want to lure you back so they can lay a serious narc whipping on you. That's what they want you for. That narc whipping. They have a strong desire to get revenge, especially if you are the one who discarded them. Another reason they want to suck you back into their life is so that they can be the one to end things. This is all just a game to them. Remember that. The narcissistic injury was too severe for them when you were the one who end things, when you were the one who discarded them. When you were the one who went no contact and said, I've had enough. The injury was something they could not handle. If you ever take them back, trust me, it's never going to end well. And the abuse will only escalate. And I know that. That's why I will never go back. If you ever think about going back to them, here's what you need to do. You have to remember the reasons you left the narcissist. You need to know that the narc will never, ever change. And you need to take comfort in knowing that the end of the road for the narcissist you know how it's going to end for them? They're going to be lonely, empty, and have a torturous life. There's nowhere to go for this narcissist other than for them to have to go, come face to face with their tortured inner demons all alone with no way to avoid them. Have you ever heard the expression, people die how they live? If you live a life hurting, using, abusing, and trying to destroy others, this is exactly how they will die. Lonely, alone, and tortured. So don't sweat the small stuff and wonder will they ever reap what they sow. Honey, God could do everything except for tell a lie. And God said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. You will reap what you sow. And I trust that with all my life. Actually, I've seen it. I've witnessed it time and time again with my ex-husband, my first ex-husband, with my fiance with one of someone else who I was with uh, when I was in the city. The man is now, he has a, what is this, the oxygen thing that he can't breathe without walking around with it. He's living a very lonely life. Yeah, Cruz, that was his name. I went down to the city the other day and he's a mess. He's a mess. 
Anyway, Sheila True Love, as you know, this is how they end. And this is my kitchen table, as you see, because my picture just expired. But yes, they do reap what they sow, sweetie. So never sweat the small stuff. You always have a choice. Um, choose wisely. Have a great day. Bye for now.